<laughs> um, how do you do that? It's a, it's a camera. It's a camera. It's a baby. <laughs> she tried to take the camera from me. We love you. Oh, Give me winky do. We love you. Danger. She's like everybody. She's trying to attack. He's going for the little stream. Oh, I love Miss Kitty. She's the nicest cat in the world. How did you have a nice day today, Miss Kitty? She's like, you're talking to me. Good morning, little sloths. Actually, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day, everyone. It's Joey Graceffa. No, it's not. Hi, guys. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today for my eating show. I hope you grabbed something great to eat because we're going to feast together. Thank you to everyone on Twitter who I made a uh, tweet. and I was just like, you guys, what should I eat? What do you want to see? And overwhelmingly, the response was burrito, burritos, burritos, burritos. And here are all the ingredients that you're going to need. This is a recipe video, by the way. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to, do, to, how to do this. So let me go around and show you all the ingredients. First, we have some organic rice. Over here, we have some guiso. Guiso is made by chopping up tomatoes and onions and peppers and kind of stir frying it in oil and a little salt and pepper and gar fresh garlic and garlic powder. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's a traditional Colombian meal. Oh, that's something else all you guys said. You're like, I want to see you eat Colombian food. I've already done that a few times on this channel, but you guys want more. So that's up on the way. This here is meatless meat. This is like a, it's not like super healthy, but it's not, I wouldn't call this meal unhealthy by any means. I'm using organic ingredients. Almost everything is vegetable except for the cheese. Yes, I'm having dairy now. Very small amounts though. Very, very small amounts. This here is made out of vegetables. It's my meat. And it's actually soy textured protein. I'm gonna have a bite just to tell you how good it tastes. Hallelujah, that my boyfriend knows how to cook so well. He made this for me from scratch. Oh, oh my God, that tastes like Taco Bell meat. And it's not even real meat. Uh... This here is lentils. Lentils are higher in iron. They're higher in fiber. Um, a decent amount of protein um, and lots of minerals. Now for antioxidants and vitamins, we have our fresh produce. We have chopped up tomatoes. Look at me, I'm like healthy, healthy, healthy. We have diced uh, onions. We have uh, fresh lettuce. Oh, two different bowls of lettuce. And you guys, you know how much I love olives. No. I have olives here. Now you guys, burritos are very easy to make. I mean, aren't they? I think the hardest part is rolling it up, so we'll see how I do. So you can use literally anything you want. You can use meat, you can use, this, these are gonna be cheesy burritos. So you're like, okay, the title's cheesy burrito. Is this gonna be the title? I think it's gonna be cheesy burrito. Um, where's the cheese? Well, Munster cheese. Have you guys ever had Munster cheese? I, this is my first time having Munster cheese on this channel ever. And this is also my first time having it like knowingly since I can remember. I can't even remember. I'm trying to open this right now. I'm trying to remember the last time I've had Munster cheese. It's very hard to open. Ooh. So Munster cheese is very sharp. It melts pretty well, says Orlin. I don't even know. I'm so dumb. So we're gonna be putting this onto our burritos and we're gonna melt it. It's gonna be a cheesy burrito melt. I'm so excited. So let's get some of these ingredients out of the way. Let's get my fresh rags down here. This bowl is gonna be my working area. All right. Oh, I forgot to show you the tortillas. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I hope you guys are having a very nice day. It's a beautiful day. I woke up and I sang to you guys on Snapchat. My Snapchat, by the way, is just Nick Avocado Avocado. Um, a good 10,000 of you watched my snaps there. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I keep you guys updated, especially when there's something I want. I need to get off my chest or there's drama, but I don't want to make a whole video about it because I'm not the type of person to make videos about people. Um, I woke up and I was like, the sun will come out tomorrow. No, I didn't sing that song. What did I sing? Do you guys remember what I say? Actually, I have my phone here. Should I just play it to you? I just want to say, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I guess what? I'm not, I'm not wearing fake eyelashes before you see. Take a fake eyelashes off. No, this is the, the filter. Even though they're cute. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun, I say. It's alright. 
So that's me singing and being silly on Snapchat. So make sure you guys follow me there. Hello, focus. Okay. So these are my big, giant, big, giant, giant tortillas. Oh, okay. E, are you ready for this? First step you're going to do is take your meat. This is kind of like, just like Chipotle, right? And we're gonna put it right here in the middle. I want it to be very, oh, that looks so good already. Oh, very meaty. So just one, one scoop. Let's do a little, a scoop and a half. How about just like that? And the next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of lentils. So now the meat is like my most biggest part, right? So the most biggest, funnest part, we're gonna add just a half a spoonful of lentils. Because burritos, you don't want it to be too full. Ugh, get off. This one's gonna be very meaty. Even though I promise you guys it will be cheesy. So I'm gonna add some rice here. This here is the guiso, Colombian guiso. A spoonful of... I like, I want it to be very oniony, yeah. Ooh, this is finely chopped. What else? Oh, we have some fresh tomato over here. It's gonna get too big, so let's just do like a little bit. I haven't like, I can't even tell you the last time I've had this. Taking it out, it expires in like two weeks. So I was just like, oh, I really have to use this. Ew, come on. Let's go, get out of here. Oh, it's very like cheesy. I said this is gonna be super cheesy burritos, so I'm not lying, the title is not clickbait. All right, so I'm gonna take it off. They have these little individual slices because that's how they do it, so I'm gonna put this on. Wow, this is very, mmm. Ooh, it's very sharp. Oh, get out of here. Oh my gosh, I have to like literally roll it off. This morning I asked Orlando, I was like, is monster cheese gonna be good for a burrito? And he was like, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious, you guys. So yeah, he's, he's on like a diet right now, so he's not eating this stuff. Oh my God, this is so hard to take off. I hate, they do this in Colombia. I don't know if they do this in the United States. Oh my God, I messed up my burrito. I made a hole. So annoying, stuck to the paper. So I have more cheese. I really want to do mozzarella cheese, you guys. Mozzarella, mozzarella. So I haven't had cheese for weeks. How do I open this? I want this to be cheesy. Like, like I take a bite of cheese and I just transform. Okay, so this also has the annoying plastic individuals. The ones in the United States are nicely made. All right, so we're gonna put a piece of cheese here and let's do half a piece of cheese here. Actually, let's do all of it. Brand new cheddar cheese. So now we have cheddar mozzarella. Okay, I said this was healthy. I changed my mind. Is this gonna be full enough? We'll have to see. Oh, yes. Oh, I can add, oh, oh olives, yay. Oh, I have a little olives there. Oh, how about three olives per burrito? Oh, and a little of the, a little of the juice, just a little bit so it's not dry, it's nice and juicy. A juicy fat burrito. Step five is to roll. All right, you guys, this is the difficult part, so I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so you get everything out of the way. And what you do is, they, at Chipotle they go like this. They kind of push it all to one side and they flatten it. And be careful not to, ooh, look at my meat. And what they do is they fold this in. Oh, wait a minute, ew, wait, get back to, yeah. Carefully turn, bring these things inside. See, good thing I didn't overstuff it too much. I think I still overstuffed it just a little bit. Mm, it's okay. So I'm gonna put this on here. So now we're gonna make smaller burritos. Here we go. Boys and girls, we got this. We got this, love fam. So we're gonna do, how about, so it's not too full, we'll just do two scoops of meat. That's where all the flavor and the protein is. And we'll just do one small scoop of rice. Mmm, this is gonna be so good. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. I'm cooking, I'm a chef, I'm a professional. I'm so excited, yes. Oh, this has a spoon, a little bit of this. This is gonna be nice too. He made this with garlic. Oh, honey. Oh, oh this is so good. Oh my God. Best part, the cheese. You guys, it feels so good finally having cheese again. So I basically went 10 days, 14 days without cheese. And I had my first bite of cheese a few days ago when I had burritos for you guys. Burritos, and the burritos are very nice. Ah, I hate how these get stuck. Um, The burritos were very, very nice. I should have put, a, the next one I'm gonna put a layer of cheese on the bottom, so it's, ooh, yes. Um, what did I have? 
Did I say burritos? No, not the burritos. I had ta tacos with a dollop of Daisy. And I ate like half that one dollop and I was just like not having it. Now, I'm great. You know, I'm listening to my body, you guys. It's very, very important. Most of you just don't listen to your body. My body is saying, give me the cheese. Give me the cheese. We have to I don't want no plastic in my cheek. <laughs> 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 yes! <clears throat> There's a fly. So sorry. There are flies. Remember how I told you yesterday how there's flies everywhere? Because in South America, they don't use screens. I told you yesterday, please, 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 please be grateful. Go to your mom and dad and say, Grandpa, Grandma, thank you for having screens. Thank you for, yes. Okay, so what you do is fold it in half just like so. Make sure it's not too much, yeah. See, it's still a lot. You kind of go like this and you go like this. And you push and pull and put these inside. Oh. Oh, this one's nice. And press, like you're making a sushi roll. Oh. 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 Uh. So I'm gonna do two more lickety split. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best burrito you've ever had. And the secret is putting cheese in the bottom. <gasps> Mozzarella and monster cheeks, light like a layer. Remember when Nikogato went to Chicago? It's the cheese pulch. Yes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> so we put cheese. Both monster. On the bottom. Oh. Was that all oh, the cheeks? <sighs> How does he eat all oh, the cheeks? <sighs> How does he eat all the cheese? Mozzarella ketso. I'm gonna add a little shiva chip. I don't feel like cleaning that cheese shaver. They are so annoying to clean. So I'm just gonna use a knife and shave it off in thin little pieces. That's enough cheese on the bottom, right? Yes. I'm so sorry, I had to walk up the stairs. I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna do a nice spoonful of this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna do a spoonful of lentils. I'm gonna do a spoonful of organic rice. <sighs> Something really crazy about rice has been going on. And I love it. I just, ooh, I eat my popcorn. Oh, they're all so scared. Okay, now, a nice spoonful of this. Oh, I forgot olives in the other one. Okay, I know I'm using this knife. Ooh, let's get some juices. Oh yeah. One, two, I want three. Three olives, yes. Put that down over there. And now more cheese. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <sighs> Who invented making cheese like this? You don't put cheese on paper. Who did this? Paper cheese. I want to know. Be the cheesiest burrito of all my burritos. Have you noticed I use less? meat because they were they're very very healthy so this one i need to be just one for fun you know i haven't had cheese for such a long time it's it literally feels like a year okay put cheese all into it half a block of cheese welcome to my kitchen i should have an ebook buy my ebook oh i made it a tear okay we're transferring we're transferring or maybe i can double roll it i don't know Ooh, there goes my olive okay, i'm gonna transfer Everything to right here. And I'll eat this on the side. Over. And go in. Go in. <gasps> the fly. Get out of here! Ah! And we're gonna do one last one. This one's gonna be cheeseless. It's just gonna be vegetables. So we're gonna put a nice clump of rice there. A clump of meat. Ooh, this meat is so good. I think. 
Orlin really needs to teach me how to make that meat so I can teach you. It tastes better than any meat I've ever had. <sighs> All right, this one's just going to be vegetables. You know, healthy-ish. It might be low on protein, but that's okay. No cheese, vegetables, so we can have an olive there. Oh yeah, okay, all right, this is okay. Okay. Doing okay? Gosh, this is gonna be so chasey. Look at the cheese that's coming out of here. Oh. Oh. Is this edible? Doyle? Toil, trouble and boil. I don't know that brand. Do you know that brand? It's in Spanish. Um, can you eat lipstick? I don't know. You guys are gonna cry. <laughs> no. I don't want to be a drama queen. I'm the furthest thing from a drama queen, but this is so good. <laughs> oh. I want to cry and laugh at the same time. It's the weirdest feeling. You know when you're so hungry? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mine's the lipstick. This is amazing. Oh my god, a snap from someone. I've been snapping some friends. Hmm. But you know when someone's lying, it's like really funny. You didn't invite me. Yeah, okay. I see how it is. Mm hmm. Um. That's okay. All I need is delicious food. That's all you need in life. Here, let's open this up just like this. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, it's the vegetable one. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but very different than, you know, cheese. Mmm, I'm so dumb. Yeah. This has just got to go. I don't know how girls do it. Do you? So, so you guys, I'm making this video in this way because, uh, please don't pull my real eyelashes, please don't pull my real eyelashes, please don't pull my real eyelashes. Okay. I'm making this video, I'm gonna be like straight up and real like usual. You know, I like to be funny. People are always just like, oh my gosh, she has bipolar. Oh my gosh, she's going crazy. Oh my gosh, she's on drugs. I'm not. Actually, I'm going to go wash my mouth so this can be presentable. I'll be right back. So I just want to know straight up. Oh, the cheese one's so good. 
Look at this one down here. I opened it up for the thumbnail and the, the cheese oozed out and then it burnt me and it fell apart. Mm. I just want to ask you guys straight up, the whole Mrs. Pickles thing, I love, I enjoy, I'm not crazy. Yeah, so there's crazy things about me, but I'm not actually like, I just, it's fun. It's fun. I used to do Mrs. Pickles to my little sister when I was a kid. I told you guys the story. Mrs. Pickles says, push your pickles. I've been doing that since I was a kid. And I just randomly remembered it one day. And I'm like, ooh, let me do it for my little slots. <laughs> mm. I, I understand you either love it or hate it. Brings joy to me. I like m making people laugh. Actually, in kindergarten, I remember I was a class clown. Ask any com- I mean, I'm not a comedian, trust me. I don't even think I'm that funny. Funny enough to, to, like, make people chuckle here and there. Did I save that snap? I hate on Snapchat, you have to literally- Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just- you know when you catch people in lies and you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, that's right, keep talking. Yeah, I have a lot of proof. But anyway, I like Mrs. Pickles. She makes me laugh. I enjoy doing it, but a lot of you guys don't. I like doing it on my channel, but I scared away that I lost thousands of subscribers by doing Mrs. Pickle. So, I want to ask you guys, we're going to do a little vote down below in the comments. I'm going to have to like, find my way through the sea of like, <laughs> oh my god! Um, just to get, you know, fine. Should I create a separate channel for fun? I enjoy it. Doesn't hurt nobody. People are acting like they haven't seen a clown before, you know? <laughs> Or, should I keep doing it on this channel, but like once a week? Maybe every Wednesday is Mrs. Pickles Day. I don't even know if I should be asking you this. Like, as a creator, people like surprises. People don't like to, oh my god. I mean, people don't like to be like, oh, he's, he did this for this. The best TV shows are when twists and turns come and you don't know what's coming. I'm not saying I'm a TV show, but I'm just saying, like, I have to keep things changing up on this channel or it's going to get boring. You know, new foods, new things. I went to Asia, bring people on, guests, collabs. Especially when you upload every day. One of the hardest parts about this job is just thinking of what to do next. <laughs> you know, make sure you have something to say every time you turn on the camera. It's very easy to be like, oh, that's not hard, but you're not doing it. Where's your channel with hundreds of videos? You know? Anyway. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> Burritos fall apart. I, I was looking for uh, tin foil. A Aluminium foil. I, growing up, I used to say aluminum. How many guys? How many guys did that too? Aluminum foil. Construction all day, every day. Yeah, we don't have any aluminum foil. Orlin's gone, by the way. He went out shopping for ingredients for my next mukbangs. You know, and it's constant doing stuff. Um. Thank you, Orla, for helping me. Mmm. Oh. Man, that's good. Whew. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> uh, I haven't had this much cheese for a long time. I know I keep saying it over and over, but... That's so good. Mm. 
Man, I do eat a lot, don't I? Is there water in here? The weird thing is, too, I wake up and I'm not very hungry. When I'm hungry, I do the mukbang, and then I don't really eat much for the rest of the day. Sometimes I have, like, I've told you, like, smoothies. Oh, I always have green juice every day. Make sure I get a boost of minerals, antioxidants and stuff. But most of my calories from the day are actually coming from these mukbangs. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the world that like, especially older people, especially people in Latin America, they have one big meal a day and everything else is snacks. It's called a siesta after your lunch. And basically you take a nap in the afternoon, 12, 1, 2 p.m. Actually, a lot of things around here shut down for siesta. Mm. Oh. Olives. I love olives. They do that in Spain too, don't they? The siesta thing. Mm. So no, I'm not starving myself. No, I'm not having an eating disorder. I'm eating in a way millions of people around the world eat. You know, you wake up. Orlin's mom, I watch her. She wakes up, has a little coffee and crackers, maybe a piece of fruit. Goes throughout the day. Noon, 1 p.m., a big meal. And then like no dinner. Or like a very small, light dinner. That's very common. So that's kind of what I've been doing. These mukbangs have been like... My lunches. And on top of that, I'm doing them right after exercising. <clears throat> Keep the metabolism high, make sure I'm keeping the pounds off. I've already lost a bunch of pounds, so yeah, I feel good. Mm. Ooh, two types of cheeses. Yes, this made it. I should have gotten a. You know what? I do have a spoon over here. Getting a little like, you know when it falls apart? A little messy. I know my hair is gross, I'm so sorry. And these holes. <sighs> this is actually the nicest wall in the whole house. I've showed you guys a little tour, you know, the bedroom and the kitchen and everything. It's all made of like bricks and cement and stuff. And I painted this over and over. But when I did my Christmas theme, which I can't wait to do this. I can't wait for Christmas this year. I'm gonna paint over that again. But no, the Christmas, excuse me, the Christmas decorations, decorations made that hole. Oh my God, you guys, very good news. What, how do I even start? So Orlin is getting my violin bow rehaired right now. That's one of the things he's doing for me. I don't speak Spanish, I don't know how to, you know, he has to do things for me. I tell him what to say, what to look for, you know, make sure you ask this, 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 this. I was actually supposed to go with him today. I was supposed to go with him today. That, that, that was the plan. I was actually going to do a mukbang in the city. I was either going to do street food of Colombia, at least the street food, right? It just depends what part you're from. Mmm. Which for us, that's like a lot of seafood. I already did it. Remember I did my street food mukbang? A lot of seafood. We're kind of near the beach-ish, yeah. Um, I was gonna do another one, but actually show you the streets carefully. I've never done it before. I'm very nervous to do that. And even in, even like in the United States, like publicly, just you know, it takes guts to do that. Um, I was even gonna do that, or go to a restaurant, eat at a restaurant for you guys. Mm-hmm. That was the plan. Last night, I charged a bunch of batteries. But, Orin's like, you should stay here and just do burritos. Everyone asked for it. I can go by myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, my violin bow. What if it gets broken or stolen? I don't know. He's like, oh, I'll be careful, you know. So, I bring this up because, mm, so good. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have been asking, please play your violin again. I want to be straight up. Can I be straight up with you? I'm always straight up. That's the type of guy I am. I say it how it is. And if it's something that's not nice, I try to do it in a polite way. Actually, I sent an email to uh, someone last night who wanted me to promote their business and everything. And it was just like, 
shocking. Like just, I don't want to say like out of line, but just like, I don't even know how to respond to this. You know, just, I'm not going to go into the details. And I called up my friend Carly. We talked about, she's like, yeah, they have some nerve. And I was like, I don't think it, I don't know if it's on purpose and they just don't know what they're talking about. And I talked to a few other YouTubers. It was, it's interesting sometimes. Um, I, I wrote them a letter yesterday and um, I actually said, I'm going to talk to you like I would talk to a friend because that's just the type of guy I am. I'm not a mean person, but I'm going to tell you the truth. My other friend said, just ignore it too. I don't like doing that. I don't like... I mean, once conversations are established, which it was, I, I'm not just going to be like disappear, you know? I can't, I'm not, I, I, I consciously can't sleep at night. People think I'm such a mean person. I'm not. I'm not. But anyways, what am I talking about? Oh, the violin thing. Straight up with you guys, right? <laughs> I love my violin. I love to make music. Are you selling broomsticks? My last one. Oh my gosh, I've had four burritos. I miss my violin. I miss performing. So much. I've already told you the reasons. I don't want to repeat myself why. I haven't played violin for a long time. If you don't know, ask someone in the comments and they'll tell you. Why Why Nick stopped playing violin for so long? Anyone who watches my videos will know. Well, I'm ready to start. I'm getting my bow fixed and we're going to do this. Sometimes, if, especially when I'm editing thumbnails, which for me might take an hour or two, because <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Sometimes, three hours. I'll make it, I'll look at it, I'll make it, I'll look at it, I'll tweet them out, which ones do you want, I'll sit there and make a tally. I'm just, OCD is not a fun thing. Actually, I remember yesterday, no, two days ago, the burger challenge with my boyfriend. Someone asked what, what was Orlando's least favorite thing about me, about me, and the first thing he said was OCD. <laughs> It drives me crazy too. Like I said, I wish my brain didn't work that way, but it does. Anyway, I miss performing. While editing thumbnails and everything, I listen to my own violin music. I made only one violin video on this whole channel. It's called Warrior Trisha Paytas. What was it called? Warrior Trisha Paytas Violin Cover. Here it is. I put my heart and soul into that. Um, I remember, well, it, it was, there was like a contest going on. I was really excited about it and everything. I spent probably 30 hours working on that. I had to compose the parts. I had to film over and over, do all the takes. Editing it on iMovie took forever. Playing with the sound. Because once you go a, by a certain frequency, it goes And you don't know until you publish, like finalize the file. So I had like 20, oh my gosh. It took two days. But working like 12 to 10, 15 hours a day, it was crazy. Filming it, it was just a lot of work. And you know, I put my heart and soul into it and I'm so proud. When I listen to that, I'm like, huh. Ah. I like to see myself perform. I mean, that's why I do YouTube. I think all YouTubers, they have to like the stage presence. All right? I know it's very different on camera. It's extremely different, you know? There's no audience here. I love hearing the applause after I play a piece, but I don't. But I get the same kind of rewardment with the re comments. That's why if there's mean comments, they really hurt me because that's the only feedback I get. All I see is a number, you know? Um, I just felt so happy making that. Despite all the work, it just, that's what brings me joy in life. And I, um, I would love to just play violin all day and every day, but I know that's not a way that I'm gonna be able to support myself. <laughs> if I couldn't do it in the real world in New York City, barely scraping by, there's no way that someone's going to listen to me play violin on YouTube. I will not be able to pay my bills that way. You know, it's nice, but sometimes you have to do... It's not that I don't want to do mukbangs. I love eating. I love chatting. This is perfect for me. I've always been food-obsessed, OCD. But I enjoy music even more than food, honestly. Um, it's not like that video did, like, outstanding in terms of numbers or payment, but... 
If I could have it my way, I would, I would be doing that. I love making music. Yeah. Have you guys seen that video? There's that fly! There's that fly. There was no fake fly. I'm not scared of it. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I wasn't like, you know, hitting nothing. There was actual fly flying here. Can you please leave a comment for me on this video and if you see someone else leave something along the lines. I know I asked you guys to leave a comment. Please leave two. The first one is Mrs. Pickles. Should be a separate channel or once a week on here. The second question is, would you watch? If I started making more violent, maybe, I don't know, four or five mukbangs a week, two, three new violent pieces. I mean, that's going to be a lot of work, but it brings me joy. <laughs> and um, you guys, you know, I'm always babbling about classical music and stuff. Well, it really does make me feel a certain way. And I, I know it doesn't affect everyone the same way. That's why some people listen to that song. They're like, okay, whatever. A certain person is going to be touched, you know. If you're naturally artistic, if you're very emotional, if you're sensitive, I'm very sensitive. I listen to that and sometimes just cry. <laughs> and that's not cocky. It's not me. I do it to I anyone that plays nice music. I, I cry. <laughs> it's not like, ooh, I'm so good. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like that. You guys know. It's about music in general and how it affects me. So it's a very particular person that is going to be like, you know. And I read the comments on that video and they're like, I'm in tears. I'm so happy. But I feel like society is very, I don't want to say numb, but we're desensitized. That's why classical music is dead. I am sorry, but it's pretty much dead. Um, so every one person that will leave that comment, oh, I'm crying, this is beautiful, brought tears to my eyes. There's 20 that watched and we're like, eh, okay, you know. I don't know. I just want to bring some new things to this channel. That's why I thought about doing Mrs. Pickles. Yeah, I'm so excited to get that bow rehaired. You guys are nice and full. Mm. Mrs. Kitty. No, not Mrs. Miss Kitty. She's not married. She never will be. She's never going to leave that room. <laughs> no babies for her. They live longer and healthier that way. They're very prone to getting, was it, ovary cancer and stuff, Persians. And so neutering actually makes him live 10 years longer or something like that, five years longer, disease-free. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, Mrs. Ki Miss Kitty, when she sees flies, she's always just like... She's such a hunter. It's so funny. I want to know what goes through her mind. I watch her attack cockroaches and bugs. She even goes after the birds sometimes. And I, we always like to like give her a little voice and a character. Murder. Murder. I want to murder. <laughs> you know, cats are murderers. Naturally. That's how they were designed. Humans are murderers. We are predator. We are predator animals. We have the eyes on the front, not the side. We had the most advanced brain out of any brain. We are made to. I know that sounds terrible. Not necessarily our own kind. But I mean, we have since the beginning of time. But you know, eating other animals and stuff. That's you know. We're the best hunters. We're very good. We're so smart that we make tools. If the if the cat had the a more advanced brain to make tools to help them get food better, faster, cleaner, safer, whatever, they would. <laughs> um. Problems with cats though is they don't just kill for food; they kill for fun. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> I'm full, but I want to finish because it's a great day and I haven't eaten anything all day pretty much. 
What did I have in the morning? I had something, but I forget. It wasn't significant. A granadilla, it's like a passion fruit. I always eat something to keep the metabolism going, you know. Mmm. I can't wait to play music for you guys again. Yeah. And this Christmas, I'm very excited for. I'm trying to plan some things, special things. Last year was fun. Christmas is not forever. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. September, October, November. Did. Well, I mean, three months. September, October. Yeah, three months Christmas will be here. That's crazy. Mmm. I love this pan. Orlin got for me as a gift, you guys remember? So was, we didn't have like extra spending money, so this this was pretty pricey. This is like thirty dollars, maybe forty. And I saw I was like, this is perfect moment. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't no no no, that's too much money. And we saw it as I told you guys the story. We saw it at the store. It may have been more, I don't remember remember. Um I thought about on the bus ride home and everything. I talked about, I was like, oh that'd be perfect. And we go back to the store, grocery shopping, right? Take the bus, go there. Or the picks up and he's like, a gift for you. Don't. And he did. Orlin is such a great guy. Yeah. Every time he leaves the house, whether it's to go shopping, whether it's to do errands, whether it's to pay bills, pay rent, drive his car, I don't know. Just leaving the house for a few hours makes me sad. So you guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say when I go on vacations and stuff or visa runs or collabs or whatever, we're separate. It's so painful to my heart. He's my other avocado half. I'm an avocado, he's an avocado. Avocados are best when you eat the whole darn thing. <laughs> yeah. So actually the moment he left the door, I got all sad. Every time he's just going to the grocery store for like five hours. I just get so sad. I get so sad. Every time. I keep checking my phone to see if he says something to me. All right, let's get this last bite, Sloth fam. We got this. Mmm. That's a clump of cheese and vegetable. Oh. Uh, you guys, I, I, you know how when I start this channel and like, well, especially when I got on a roll, like uploading daily and stuff, I was at 12 p.m. Los Angeles time, 12 p.m. Los Angeles time. And I stopped because I feel like people are still in school, people are still at work, people like to eat with me. That's all around dinner time. So I've been posting like around four, five, six, seven, eight, that range. I feel like the views come faster, the people are more excited. I don't know, but I don't know which time to choose. I have no idea. <laughs> so you guys can help me out and let me know if there's a time I should choose. I, I'm so indecisive, you guys. Anyways. I'm done with my mukbang, yay! And, ah, oh, I feel so good. I miss Orlin though. I I'm gonna go lay down with Miss Kitty. I'll bring you, you wanna go, you wanna go lay with Miss, let's go to my bedroom. Come on, you guys. I'm gonna take you on a field trip today. Take this out. This is gonna be real time, no editing. Okay, so we have my closet, the lights. Eh. Excuse me, let's turn this off. By the way, the ceilings don't go all the way up, so that's why Orlin has to be quiet with the birds, because the sound just comes through the ceiling, you know? I know. Okay, let's go upstairs. <sighs> I'm so full. Look at these beautiful butterflies. Orlin's mom made them. Miss Kitty! We're drying our things here. We don't, we don't have a dryer. So, well, this is dirty. This one's drying. The annoying thing, I don't know. You guys, how do you get lint and fuzz out? This is covered with fuzz and lint, and we don't have a dryer, so we don't know how to get it out. It's so annoying, but we like to hang them here because it gets hot. Hmm. I'm so full. Oh, there's my baby. There's my baby. Miss Kitty. Look at you. You bundled yourself up in there? Hey! 
Come here. Come here. I know you love me. Oh, I know you do. You love me so much. Come here. Hey. Hey. Are you gonna look at the sloths or are you just gonna look at me? She's not even looking, her eyes are like shut. You're her purring. Miss Kitty loves to be squished. Listen, she'll purr faster. She loves to be squished. Remember that one day? Oh, look at her, she's trying to attack. I told you hunting skills. She's going for the little stream. Look at this. Watch. Ouch! Ow! That was your nail. Oh, Miss Kitty. You're evil. She's like, I know these things. You don't have to tell me. I know I kill for fun. Mm. Oh, I love Miss Kitty. She's the nicest cat in the world. How'd you have a nice day today, Miss Kitty? She's like, you're talking to me? Are you talking? Miss Kitty, did you have a nice day today? Did you have a nice day today, Miss Kitty? Why don't you tell the sloths? Huh? Peekaboo, are you in there? We found this pizza pillow at the thrift store in Florida. Oh my God, my double chin. <laughs> we found this at the thrift store. Isn't it cute? Oh. Orlin loves pizza. He's not eating pizza right now, but he loves pizza so much. His favorite food ever is pizza, so guys, keep that in mind. Pizza, well, healthy food. He loves tomatoes, oranges. Yeah, but he loves pizza. I see you. Miss Kitty. You know your name, you respond to me. Orlin doesn't really like Miss Kitty. They're not like BFFs or anything. He doesn't hate her, he's not mean to her. He takes care of her and stuff, but he doesn't particularly like her that much. Um, I love her, and so she knows I love her. She. Th this is my side of the bed. I'm, Orlin sleeps on this side, I always sleep on this side. She always loves to sleep on my side. Every time I go to bed, she comes, you know how she curled up between my arms just right now? She does it every single night. It's the best part about sleeping here, her. She cut, yes, I'm talking about you, Miss Kitty. Hey. <laughs> He's like, get me away from her. They actually don't fight. They're pretty nice. Go on, you're almost there. You got it, you got it. They actually get along pretty well. Are you gonna say hi to the sloths? No? Where do you think you're going? I'm here. This Nerdoodle likes being on our heads. My head, Orlin's head, he loves being on heads. Makes him feel happy, not in a way. Noodle. Noodle. Come here. Come here, Mr. Noodle. Come here. The cat won't do anything, she never has. Come here, come here. Okay, this isn't so bad, is it? She'll sniff you, she'll say hello but she'll walk away, because she doesn't like you. That's right, you climb to the top, that's right. Say bye! Say bye, Mr. Noodle! Say bye! <laughs> well, you guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below for me about Mrs. Pickles and everything else I talked about, which I don't remember. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Mr. Noodle's gonna be with me tomorrow. Isn't he? Mr. Noodle's... Mr. Noodle's gonna be with me tomorrow. Yes, she is.